Today we're going to be talking about the triple beam balance. The triple beam balance, or any balance, is an instrument that's going to measure mass. Now, in math and a few other places, a lot of times the term mass and weight are used interchangeably, but there is a difference between the two, and we'll discuss that later. For now, let's check to see how you measure mass with the triple beam balance. First notice that there are three beams in the triple beam balance. This one, you count with ones, the ones place, one, two, three, four, five, okay? The second beam is a hundreds place. You count by one hundreds, zero, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred. And the third beam, you count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now you're going to add these three beams together to get your, your total number. For instance, the hundreds place, and we're always going to start with the hundreds place, notice it's at 100. So we're going to start with a 1 for 100. If it was located, if it was pointed towards a 0, we'd say we wouldn't, we could put, say 0 or not give it a hundreds place at all. Um, the next one, the, for the tens place, it's on a it's on 30, so we're going to say 3 for the tens place. See, we got hundreds place, tens place, and next we need the, the ones place. Now, in this particular case, the arrow is located right between the 2 and the 3. Now, think if you were looking at a clock, and let's say it's 2.30. The hour hand is going to be halfway between the 2 and the 3, but you're still going to say it's 2.30. The same with this. Until, until this arrow gets all the way up to the next whole number, you're going to say it's the lower whole number. So, we're going to call this a 2. So 132 for 2 for the ones place. And now we need a decimal because now we're getting into the tenths place. Okay, and let's count them. This is halfway between, so we know it's five. But just to be sure, you can count these little notches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 132.5 grams. And let's check it. It's saying weight, but again, mass. <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's try another one. In this case, look, the hundreds place is at a zero. So we don't have to put a number in the hundreds place at all. The next one, we go to the tens place and we're at 30. So we're going to put in a three for the tens place. The next number, we're between a two and a three again. Remember, we're going to go with the lower whole number because it is the lower whole number until it gets all the way next to the next um, whole number. So 32 point, now we need to find out our tenths place. Okay, we know this is halfway in between, so 0.5, and then we go up one more, so 0.6. So you can either look at this and know this is halfway between or 0.5 and just count one more, or you can start back here and just count them one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 32.6 grams. Let's go ahead and check it. There we go. Let's try one more. Okay, this one. The hundreds place is at 500 grams. So we're going to put a five. Now our tens place is at zero. So zero, five, zero. And then our ones place is between the 5 and the 6. So do we put a 5 or a 6? You're right if you're saying we put a 5 because it's not all the way up to the 6. So 505 point what? Here's a 5, 6, 7. Actually if it's halfway in between usually round it up but in this particular program they leave it at the lower number so we're going to do that. So 5 six, seven. So 505.7 grams. There we go. Let's try one more. Okay. What's the hundreds place? That's right. It's 500. So we're going to put in a five. Tens place, four. Ones place, 
Look at the ones place. It's in between a zero and a one, not quite to the one, so we put a zero and then point. And what's going to be our decimal, our tenths place? Here's the five, six, seven, or you can just count it by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 540.7 grams. And let's check it. There we go. Okay, now for your homework. You should have your science journal out. And what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to write mass for your title. And I'd like for you to write numbers 1 through 5. Because I'm going to ask you 5 questions. I'm going to show you 5 different measurements for mass. And I want you to record the answers. Okay, and you can play these back. If you miss one, you can play it back or you can pause it. Okay, the first one, number one. Here we go. Record the mass. This is number one. Check your hundreds place, your tens place, your ones place. Then you have your decimal and you're going to put your tenths place. Okay. Question number two. Record the mass. And don't forget to put a G, a lowercase g at the end. The lowercase g stands for grams. Okay, look at your hundreds place, your tens place, your ones place, put your decimal, and then record your tenths place. And then don't forget the G at the, at the end that stands for grams. Alright, question number three. Go ahead and record your answer. Look at your hundreds place, tenths place, ones place, decimal point, and then tenths place. And don't forget, add your G at the end, just like on the end of the bars. Number four. Here's number four. Go ahead and record your answer. Okay, number five. Go ahead and record your answer. Don't forget the G at the end. G stands for grams. Grams go with maths. Good job. If you have any questions, write them down in your science journal and be sure to ask me in the morning. Good night.